Yo, what's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use Steam Remote Play. Um, if you don't know what that is, it like basically lets one of your friends um, like connect to your computer, basically, and you can guys can play like split screen games and stuff like that. So, um, the first step is needing two computers. Um, obviously. <laughs> Um, so, the host computer, which is going to be the person running the game, needs to be a decently powerful PC, which mine is, so I'm able to do this. Um, at least that's what I would guess, because, you know, you got to run the game, and you also have to have decent internet and stuff. So, step one is to open Steam, and once you're in Steam, uh, both, both of you, like both uh, people, the person playing the game and the person connecting come up here and click on steam click on settings click on this button right here that says change and click steam beta update and click OK it's gonna tell you need to that you need to restart steam so just click restart and wait for it to restart alright so once you have steam in beta mode uh, you can tell if it's in beta mode if you go to your library and it looks like this instead of normal steam now What you want to do is click on steam and go to settings again and come down here and click remote play That button should be there both ways uh, Click enable remote play if it's make sure that there's a check there client options uh, This is depending on your internet speed uh, This is what it will look like for you but this is what we want because we're going to be hosting the game. Click on advanced host settings. So here you want to, you can change this if you want to uh, for that, but you don't have to. So as you can see right here, it says if you have a newer or higher end router, you may also do this. That will basically just give you better connection. But uh, you, I would recommend changing these if you need to or if you have any issues um, also if you have an Nvidia GPU I'd recommend selecting that that will uh, give you better performance click OK and now for me what I'm gonna do is on my other computer I'm gonna set this to fast just to make it better and you can also do this and select all of the resolution things that you want and all of that stuff so yeah so I'm on my phone here because uh, this is what we're going to be doing. So as you can see, I'm on another account right here. So, there we go. As you can see, I'm on another account. And the reason I'm not recording this through OBS like I am up there is because this computer isn't great with recording through OBS. So as you can see, I am on uh, Steam Beta. And what we're going to do is come up here and click that and click Settings. Now once we've done that, we're going to click on Remote Play, and we're going to click Fast, just to, because me. I'm just doing that for me. And Limit Bandwidth to Automatic is what I'm going to keep it. And we are going to keep it, we're going to select Stereo, and we're going to, in Performance Overlay, uh, just keep it on Icons. You can really select that if you, you can just make that whatever you want and click OK. Now, well, now we're ready to play. Now remember, if you have any issues with this, you just need to turn down settings because this is still in beta. It's not going to work perfect. So, on the host computer, you want to launch the game you're going to be playing. So for me, I'm going to do Rocket League because it's easy and it's split screen. Alright, there we go. So it has launched. And what we're gonna do is go in game and the first time that you do this you will get a pop-up saying that this game oh yeah right there right there uh, remote play together available you can see right here that th it's just basically telling you this game lets you do that I guess anyway what you want to do is hit shift and tab on your keyboard and you'll get the steam overlay obviously yours probably won't look like this i just have mine set like that here's my other account right here that i'm going to be using and also i the game or the other account does not need to own the game that you're playing right click on it and click it remote play together 
and it'll open up a window just like this uh, where you can see this and you can enable or disable all of this. On the second computer here you'll get this and you just want to click play game and it should do this. And as you can see right there I'll just zoom in on it and post. So now what we're going to do is it says that it is, so it's loading here, but depending on the game you should be able to join, there we go, as you can see, uh, it has joined as a split screen thing on both uh, monitors here, and we can, I can go ahead and go into a game, I messed it up, so it's actually, this is player one and that's player two, but yeah. Now like I said, you do need to have a decent internet connection and a decent PC on the host end and the uh, receiving end. Now my PC isn't great for this. I just realized I'm in ranked, but I'm literally playing it. Oh, oh come on, come on, can I do it? Can I, can I score a goal? Let's see. So I was using two controllers at once for a second, so it wasn't really working out very well, but... I'm literally just doing a 2v1 here. I don't know, I'll just see if we can get AFK kicked or something. I'm going to end the recording too. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.